Good morning, everyone. A terrifying situation in Las Vegas, an active shooter situation at a country music festival on the strip. Right now, the situation is still developing, but we can confirm that the suspect identified early this morning as 64 year old Stephen Paddock is dead. Investigators say at least 50 people have died. More than 200 others were hurt after being shot by that gunman who opened fire on the crowd from a hotel room on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Resort. The first shots happened while Nashville artist Jason Aldean was performing. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy has been tracking the very latest. Dan, what are we hearing now? You mentioned the shooter's name. We can also tell you that there was a second person police were looking for, Mary Lou Danley, as they work to answer why. Why did they open fire on a 30 second story? They say this one man, a lone gunman shot at folks on the Vegas Strip. There was a three day country music festival going on. Jason Aldean was the last one to perform wrapping up at 940 last night is when he took stage and less than 30 minutes later is when those first calls of shots fired came out. Jason Aldean posting on Instagram this morning. Tonight has been beyond horrific, but confirming that he, his crew and his band members all safe. He says it hurts my heart that this would happen to anyone just coming out to enjoy what should have been a fun night. We're hearing from other Nashville artists who were there saying they too are safe, including Muscadine Bloodline, Luke Combs, Big and Rich also tweeting out saying they're OK. And Jake Owen, who performed right before Jason Aldean, saying I witnessed the most unimaginable event tonight. Here's more of Jake Owen in his own words. I believe that the gunshots, no joke, lasted for anywhere between eight and ten minutes oh. because uh, it was almost like you could hear it first, and now that they're Absolutely. saying they're showing, obviously, where you're shooting from the Mandalay, it makes more sense now because the first few shots came off individually. It was almost like as if he broke the window or something of the room where he was shooting from, and at that point, just unloaded an automatic rifle out into the sea of people. Jake Owens' family knows he is safe this morning, that still thousands of other family members really across the country wondering about some of their loved ones who may have been in Las Vegas. Facebook has set up this safety check page where you can check in on folks who are in Vegas. You can even ask if they're safe or he or she can mark themselves as safe, a, a neat feature for those of you wondering about people in Vegas.